Hey, what's up, guys? It's Bicolor Bear, and today I am bringing you some uh, awesome Battlefield 3 co gameplay commentary. And um, I'm using one of my favorite guns. I'm using the saw. You know, I just love this gun. I think it's the gun I have the most uh, kills with. It's the, of course, it's in the support um, support area, the support class, which is one of my favorite classes, right next to the SMG classes. You know, I have no problem. I think it's a lot of fun sniping around, getting headshots, getting one-shot kills around the map. Sniping is definitely fun. It has its, it has its uh, advantages and disadvantages. I, I love it, especially aggressive sniping. It's most fun for me. But And I also like using assault. You know, assault weapons are very powerful in this game. But um, I just don't have, like, as much fun as I would if I was using LMGs or SMGs. There's just the thing about them. They're really close to the guy. Or I just want to fire and get a lot of kills with a lot of bullets. And the main reason I love this gun is you can definitely tell that it doesn't have a, too much recoil. It has a low amount of recoil, at least that's how I feel. And that um, the the bullet fire is pretty fast. Like it's not a slow or it's not a slow bullet fire. It's it's pretty moderate and it doesn't give off lots of recoil because a lot of recoil can do a lot of it can be really hard to control and then you miss your target and then you die and mainly mainly some people blame their uh, high recoil their missed shots on con maybe connection but really they not like right there that was my bad but but really those people they cannot control their uh, the recoil of their gun like a gu an example of that is the M60 that gun has a pretty high recoil until you unlock better attachments for it and you really have to use that bipod when you're using the M60 or else you're not going to you're going to have to burst fire if if anything else in order to get kills with that gun and once you do unlock attachments that gun is can be really powerful really destructive but um so yeah, so I'm using the LMG, and I did pretty good this game, like, um, you can see right here I get a couple kills, I go on a pretty good tear, and, uh, I'm really enjoying Battlefield 3 right now, like, if you guys, seriously, like, I think this game is more fun than Call of Duty for me right now, and I'm glad that my friends can appreciate this game for what it is, and that it's not the same game, they're, they're both FPS's, they're, they're both, you know, fun games, they both include war, you know, they both have similar modern warfare, but um, this game, they try to go on the more real, like some people do complain because it's some of the stuff that happens right here. Oh, I get <laughs> I get messed up right there, but I get the kill. But some people complain that it's not realistic enough, but I think they need to understand it's awesome that they try to put realistic stuff into the game, but it's not real life. It's a game. It's not, it's not going to have, everything isn't going to be real life, realistic in it. It's going to have some faults of of when it comes to realism and that's what I think they some people need to understand like it's cool that it has realistic things in it so people can l know they learn from it like whoa this happens and this happens like oh, of course people are not going to be taking around uh, scavenger packs they're not going to throw down packs for their teammates it's just funny or med med packs and that the fact that there's regenerative health you should probably know that not everything is going to be realistic in this game but um nonetheless the people they love the game still and i love the game it's pretty awesome but um so how are you guys what have you guys been playing lately you know i just wanted to talk to you guys see what you guys been doing what have you guys been up to um i've been playing a lot of max Payne 3 like the multiplayer not so much i haven't really got a chance to play it. i've just been trying to beat the campaign like the campaign i'm on easy and that the campaign is hard i'm not even kidding i'm on easy i feel like i'm on hard i die so quickly i replay a level it takes me an hour sometimes maybe even maybe even more to replay a level like a part just because there's so many dudes to to try to kill and i have to and i have to like i'm not good at uh, hiding behind cover very well and when i play games i like to rush in and kill as many dudes as i can and i <laughs> It's better to try to play games a smart way, and I keep reminding myself, Bear, don't go in there, don't run around, don't run in front of everyone so they can shoot at you as much as possible, or else you're going to die and you're not going to be able to pass the level. But I can't help myself, I just, the feeling you get taking out so many enemies at once, you feel like such a badass, and you get a little bit of a, an adrenaline rush from how awesome you are, or at least I do sometimes. But, um... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, Max Payne 3, the story, like, it's a lot longer than I thought it would be. I thought it would be maybe, maybe 10 hours, 
but I've heard it's at least 12 and I felt like I put a lot of time into the story already and it's really good really entertaining and what I picked up from the story is I'm gonna do let's play soon don't worry but what I picked up from the story is Max Payne with hair equals alcoholic drug addict Max Payne bald without hair equals sober and more awesome than Max Payne <laughs> Drunk Max Payne. Sober Max Payne is so much more awesome than Drunk Max Payne. And he's just as crazy, in my opinion. But, um, so yeah, I've just been playing, yeah, Max Payne campaign, you know. Right now I'm on chapter 11, there's like 15 chapters, so I'm almost done with it. I'm about wrapping that game up. I, I don't have too long left for that game, so uh, you'll definitely see a Let's Play once I've finished it, so I can handle, like, I know what I'm doing, sort of, while I show you guys the game. And um, I think tonight or tomorrow I'm going to be recording so a lot of Uncharted 3. I've really been enjoying doing that Let's Play. I know you, some of you have been really loving it. And I apologize for posting back-to-back -back COD gameplays, John. I know John, my friend John didn't like that very much. He was joking around. Unsub, but uh, he's saying he would unsub, which is funny, you know. They're not, it wasn't the same COD either. I, I think it was pretty much... It was variety, you know, Black Ops one day, and plus I was knifing, and then a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay the next day, which is, that's pretty, well, it's not, it is variety, but it's kind of hard to say that it is variety, since all COD is, basically, is uh, rehashing the game, making it a little, sometimes I think they don't even make the game look better. Like, I don't want to go into a big COD fiasco talk right now, but... Uh, if you look at it, like, Modern Warfare, oh, T-Bag, T-Bag, Modern Warfare 2's graphics are probably, I don't know, may, they look better to me than Modern Warfare 3's, even Black Ops's look better, but I'm a, maybe just a crazy person, and I noticed that if you put Modern Warfare 3 into, like, standard definition, it looks like total dog shit, like, looks like someone rubbed the freaking screen on their, like, blurry ass and I don't even know it just looks horrible compared to when you put it in HD and Black Ops you know there isn't that humongous of big of a difference and you can tell when you switch it from SD standard definition to high definition oh and that reminds me speaking of high definition um, I found this uh, new HD recording device it's called an Elgato Elgato HD recording uh, I might leave a description of it in the, in the, well, I have a link of it in the description below, and, um, basically, it's just a little, it's a tiny, like, capture, recording capture device, it's small, it's, like, not even half the size of the HD PVR, the HD PVR is so big compared to this thing, uh, it's black, and it basically has three cords. It doesn't have any component cords. It's an HD input, 1080p recording, which is awesome. I would love to do to like to get this thing 1080p recording. You don't have to deal with component cables. Just use HDMI, and you basically can plug it into your P plug it into the recording device. The cords go into the TV, into the computer, and plug it plug a power cord. I think that's basically it. But um. Yeah, it's just, it looks really cool. I saw this on uh, Taves', uh, Taves YouTube channel. He was uh, talking about it. I'm pretty sure he's getting paid for it, but he uh, uses it, so I don't think there's anything wrong with getting paid or supporting something, advertising something that you use or like, you know. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. Uh, talking about what you like and uh, getting paid for something talking about like there's a glitch right there like that'd be an awesome thing to do like say you drink monster and monster wants to pay you money to talk about how much you like their product I don't see anything wrong with it but what I do see wrong with it wrong with something is if that person doesn't give a shit about their product about the product they're supporting and they don't even care about it but they're just saying it because the company told them to say it that's when I have a problem when I think something's wrong and you know it's, it's a shame to see that happen but uh, I'm not gonna mention any youtubers names because I don't want to say anything negatively about anyone on this channel anymore like I'm done saying negative things about bigger comments because that's not going to get you anywhere your 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 channel won't go anywhere if it's based on hate and i realized that re like not recently but a little bit ago that if you if you hate on people that's what your channel is going to be about and you don't you and it's just going to be negative and you don't want your channel to be anything negative you want 
your people to come to your channel, like what you're there, like like that they're watching your videos. They want to feel good about them, like, oh wow, that was a good video, you know. There was, it didn't make me feel hate towards anyone. You don't want them to, because if they agree with you, they're going to feel that hate towards that person. Terry, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it a lot that you guys have been viewing my stuff. And once I reach a hundred subs, I might do something special. I haven't, kn I don't know what I'm gonna do special yet, but it's gonna be freaking awesome once I reach a hundred subs. It's only like uh, what 20, 25 more to go. I'm not sure. Don't know how to count. Not really big into math, but um, I'm done doing my commentary. So love you guys. This is my hat now. This is totally my hat. <laughs>